Good Guys Nashville Nationals 2015, and I'm out here with my buddy Jonathan Goolsby, and uh, they got an 80 Corvette they finished. Now this car, they always make cool cars. These cars were a little short on horsepower. They fixed that, and anything that was short on styling, they took care of that too. So anyways, let me the camera turn around, we'll take a look at it. Jonathan, you rocked another one, brother. I appreciate it, man. 80, I mean, you know these cars have got good style to them, good lines to them, but they just didn't perform. Yeah, well. exactly. You a lot know. of people are afraid to even mess with them, and a lot of people don't uh, deal with the 80s, and I think that's coming back, so we're going to try to step out into it. No, I agree with you, you know, and this is just proof that Goolsby can make anything cool, right? Yeah, we try to. Did you tub it out? Yes, it does. Uh, we start out with a roadster shop chassis. You know, you got to start out with that uh, right. good platform. Right. Uh, did a mini tub. We uh, did a stock Corvette brakes, put a 19s and 20s on it. Did a 12-inch wide wheel on the back. Um, New Tech wheels. New Tech. Now I'm gonna sound like an idiot. I haven't heard much of them. Uh, company out of California. They do a bunch of supercars and stuff like that. Are they like one-off wheels, or that's off the shelf? That's off the shelf. What are they called? You know, sure on those. Yeah. <laughs> the ones that's on Goolsby Sport. Exactly. Man, that's sweet. Would this thing have a crossfire fuel injection to begin with? The customer actually brought it to us to do a uh, antenna motor and a door handle. And that pretty much escalated pretty quick. You can't drive by a <laughs> shop and ask for a little thing. He actually that's what it was and uh you know, then he said he had a motor he had wanted to put in there and then uh, it was just a he had a little three fifty in it and uh yeah, then it went to, well, we need to do some suspension, and then we decided to do the Roger Shop chassis, and then... Uh, did you do any body mods? Nothing other than the mini tub. We did a six feet under it, so we had to do a little bit of tunnel work, and uh, other than that, it was just kind of keep the stock look of everything. What about that rear bumper? It looks like it might be touched up a little, no? It's a stock uh, replacement fiberglass bumper. We did the new model emblems on it. Uh, nothing crazy wild on uh, body modifications. Just try to clean everything up and give it the stance and horsepower and make it handle like it should. And then the exhaust you hit up underneath it, it just yep. cut off level. You can't, I mean, it doesn't come out, no side pipes, no yep. nothing. No, that's sweet. Have you done, have you done many generations like this? This is the first. When it came in, uh, you know, you don't see a lot of them. Like I said, it is kind of the, uh, some people think the eyesore of Corvettes. Right. But once you start playing with them, uh, get them to where they need to sit, uh, it draws a lot of attention. Dude, that's because they look at stock ones, right? Exactly. Once you all put your spin on it, then you got something. Man, that's just nice. I love the T-tops too, right? Yeah. I wish they'd bring T-tops back, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> and then you went with the LS3? Actually, it's an iron block, board and stroke, um, poured in a polished uh, LS3 top end. So we're uh, at the crank, we're right about 700 horsepower. So it's well, a- That'll get it, won't it? Six speed, it's a- it's a nice driver here. And you say that the owner doesn't care anything about showing it. He's a, he's all about driving it. He's all about driving it. Wide open all the time. Exactly. Dude, you even made the license plate bracket look good, right? <laughs> Some we gotta have advertised a little bit. I understand, but you would think you'd clean that up, but are those are those grills, are those custom? It's all stock. Everything really? On it. Yep. Dude, you made me look at this Corvette in a whole different way. I may think stock ones are cool now. That's the biggest thing you can. Uh, you These can marker lights says so that's how they would have looked back then. Everything on it. The only thing we changed up on the interior is we built a console for it. Eminem did some uh, shift boots and uh, covered a few things for us and carpet, and then uh, <coughs> it's all stock replacement stuff. Dude, I can't believe it. So a like, set of wheels and tires, suspension, and get the stance right. You're there. You're there. We did a uh, come in. It was red, and we. Uh, Got with our company uh, BASF with Glazer it and uh, put their black on it and kind of give it that little sinister look. Dude, it does look stocking. Stock everything. We actually did uh, had to do tunnel work because it's six feet. We did the mini tub, but we pretty much just mini tubbed it, recarpeted everything. Um, we built rebuilt the console here, uh, put the window switches in, made the covers, trying to make it match everything as possible. Moved AC, swapped them over. Uh, did a little console, did the low car uh, e-brake handle. Try to keep it stock appearing as much, um, not nothing crazy. What are those gauges? The code additional. Sweet, I like that, it fits them perfect. Yeah. And it even like the old style, how it sunk back into yeah, the Yeah, they dash, actually right? do. This is actually a factory replacement piece that they sell and you can bolt right in. Wow, so and the T-tops and all, that's all, nothing done. All original, I mean, you can buy all this stuff and that's what it was, it was just uh, buying and replacing. So I mean, you don't have to go, Super crazy with everything. You can uh, buy it and 
this stuff out of a catalog and do it in your driveway if you wanted to and you can have a clean car. Or you send it to Coolsby's Customs. Exactly. We'll take care of it. And get it yeah. done, right? Try to make it uh, both worlds, you know. You can't handle it, we can take care of it for you. Dude, I think from building this car, you just increased the value of this generation Corvette. Well, it shows what um, cars that a lot of people don't mess with, what can be done. With. Anything can be cool if you get the right exactly. stuff done to it. Yep. Sweet. I want to get that clip of this thing all shut up so you could see the lines on it and all. Try to keep people from walking into the uh, frame, right? Man, that's cool. Right? You would never think this generation Corvette could be that cool, but just uh, big brakes, some wheels, no massaging, a little tubbing. Goolsby's. You know, I got the coolest friends. Jonathan and the boys, they always rock their, their projects, man. Jonathan, another beautiful job, brother. I appreciate it, sir. Thanks for coming out. Anybody we need to give a shout out to? Uh, we got to definitely give a shout out to all the guys at the shop. I mean, this wouldn't be possible without them. Um, that, and we got all our companies that are on board with us. Rocher Shop does all our chassis, gets our stamps where it needs to be. M&M takes care of all our interior stuff, Bowler Transmissions, Glazerit, uh, BASF, all them guys. I mean, if it wasn't for all them, uh, we can produce stuff like this. Well, it takes everybody, doesn't it? It's a whole and team And of course, effort. there's a client that figures in there somewhere. You know, that's the biggest thing. You got to have them. And if anybody wants to follow, you got a uh, Facebook or uh, uh, face web page? Yeah, Facebook. Yeah, everything's at Goolsby Customs. Uh, GoolsbyCustoms.com. Um, you can keep up with us. If we're 15 shows a year, so we try to put out as much uh, where we're at, what we're doing, how the cars are coming, and anything in between. And just a great shop to deal with. Like I said, we're friends, but exactly. people call you, you're going to get the same Jonathan you yep. see here on yep. the camera. Yep, we're all the same on the same level. Folks, thanks so much. I Have a good day, it, brother. Thanks, man. There you go. 80 Corvette, good guys, Nashville Nationals 2015. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.